So continuing with electrochemistry, we will learn a new term, something called as the standard reduction potential. And using that, we will learn how to calculate the E cell of a electrode potential for a cell. So we are continuing actually with the galvanic cell, which we started in the previous video. So let's continue with the galvanic cell. We are familiar with the galvanic cell. You know that it has a zinc electrode dipped in the and uh, in zinc sulfate and copper electrode in copper sulfate solution and there is an easier way of representing the cell is zinc giving zinc 2 plus copper 2 plus copper always we write the anode first and the cathode second and we also know that at anode oxidation takes place and at cathode reduction takes place that means zinc is oxidized to zinc ion and at the cathode copper ion is reduced to copper so but still we haven't answered the question why electrons move from the zinc electrode to copper electrodes. Let's proceed further and find an answer for this. Let's proceed further and try to understand why electrons move from zinc electrode to copper electrode. There is, we need to refer to something called as the standard reduction potential table which is given over there at 25 degrees Celsius, the standard state. And in the middle, we see that there is a hydrogen electrode which has a zero reduction potential and we call it as SHE, standard hydrogen electrode. The top we have chlorine and the bottom we have lithium. And all the reactions above, uh, above hydrogen have a positive potential and below hydrogen have a negative potential. And uh, you can see that chlorine is at the top and lithium at the bottom. The one at the bottom it generally can act as the anode. The one at the top can act as the cathode. So the reason for it, we will uh, learn it in the next uh, slide. And uh, all the uh, reaction which is given over there, because anode undergoes oxidation, will give away electrons. And at the top, we have reduction where they gain electrons. So the, redu the reduction potential gets reversed as far as the bottom is concerned. And generally, what we have seen that since electron is given away at the anode, electrons will move from anode to cathode. So with this as information, what more we know about it? We will see that lithium will be the most easily oxidized and will be the best reducing agent. And fluorine will be the most easily reduced and will be the best oxidizing agent. How do we use this reduction potential table? Uh, to calculate in uh, the cell potentials, we will learn it as we go ahead. So still we haven't answered the question why electrons move from zinc to copper electrodes. So for anything to take place, we have already learned from thermodynamics that something called as spontaneity. So what is the one which governs the spontaneity of a redox reaction? And uh, spontaneity refers to delta G and it's been found that delta G, the free energy change, is related to the cell potential from the equation. Delta G equals negative NFE cell and if it is in standard condition, one atmosphere and 25 degrees Celsius, we have a zero on top of delta G. So it becomes delta G zero equals negative NFE zero cell. So for any reaction to be spontaneous, we have learned that delta G has to be negative and hence from the equation we have E cell has to be positive for a spontaneous cell. So let's just consider the cell which you have been considering so far, which you have been taking care of so far, that is the zinc and copper one, the zinc, zinc ions as anode and copper ions copper as the cathode. The E cell for a, um, is equal to E cathode minus E anode. And if you refer to the reduction potential table and you will find that the E for the cathode, the copper ion copper cell is 0 0.34. And for the E0 anode, the reaction of zinc, was, uh, zinc ions is uh, negative 0.76. Substitute the values in it and I get the value of E cell as 1.10. Or in other words, it's a positive value. And therefore, delta G is negative and hence the reaction is spontaneous. So this is the reason why zinc acts as the anode and copper acts as the cathode. And uh, the reaction that undergoes is also given 
uh, below the cell. Uh, the zinc reaction is the oxidation reaction. Therefore, it's written as zinc giving you zinc ions and two electrons. And the electrode potential given over there is not the reduction potential, it's the reverse of the reduction potential. That's why the sign positive 7 0 0.76 is there. And the copper ions is the cathode. Reduction occurs, so it is written as there in the reduction potential as positive 0 0.34. Add up the two equations. The electron gets cancelled and uh, the E cell comes as 1.10. So you have to be familiar about how to calculate the E cell using the formula and also you should know how to write down the oxidation and the reduction reaction. And therefore this cell because of a positive E cell value is spontaneous as written. That is zinc is the anode and copper is the cathode and electrons move from zinc electron to copper electrode. Let's calculate the E cell for some more uh, cell notation. The cell notation given over there is aluminum and copper. Always the left hand side is the anode and right hand side is the cathode. So calculate the E cell, E cathode minus E anode. Get the values from the reduction potential table and I get E cell as 2 volts, a positive value and hence it is a spontaneous reaction. And let's write down the equation concerned also. And you see that here the electrons are not same. We need to multiply by the first equation by 2 and the second one by 3 in order to get the electrons equal. And uh, the point to be noted over here is you have to multiply the equation to balance of the electrons, but the cell, the reduction potential, E zeros, never get multiplied by the number, uh, by any number you arrive. So it is still 1.66 and 0 0.34 and they are not multiplied by 2 and 3. This has to be taken care in while calculating the cell potential. So let's calculate the cell potential for one more cell, the copper and the magnesium one. Calculate E cell, cathode minus anode, and I get the value of E cell as negative 2.71. The value of E cell is negative, and hence the reaction is not spontaneous as written. Or in other words, copper cannot be the anode, and magnesium cannot be the cathode. The reaction is spontaneous in the reverse order, Copper will be the cathode and magnesium will be the anode. So the correct cell notation, if you want it to be spontaneous, is magnesium, magnesium 2 plus, copper 2 plus, copper. Let's do one more question for the cell reaction. Identify the cathode, anode and also calculate the E cell. The cell given is PB and silver. So PB is getting, is converted into PB2 plus, therefore it is losing electrons and therefore it is oxidation and it will act as the anode and silver plus is gaining electrons and hence it is reduction and hence it will act as the cathode therefore the correct cell notation will be you know that we always write the anode first it will be pb pb2 plus uh, two bars ag plus ag and uh, cell will be e cell will be e cathode minus anode get the values from the redu standard reduction potential table and I get E cell as 0 0.93. So this reaction is spontaneous. And uh, again, uh, a warning, even though the electrons has to be matched, the reactions has to be multiplied, but do not multiply the reduction potential when you multiply the equation. Write the correct cell notation for the following and also calculate E cell. So before we start, let's just divide them into two half equations. The first one is aluminum becoming aluminum 3 plus. That's losing electrons. And anytime loses electrons, it is oxidation. And therefore, aluminum will act as the anode. Consider the second reaction where Au3 plus is becoming Au. This is gaining electrons. And gaining electron is always reduction. And therefore, Au will act as the cathode. So when you write the cell notation, we always write the anode. First, it is anode cathode. And then uh, E cell is calculated as cathode minus anode. Get the reduction potential from the table and substitute the values into it and get the values of E cell. For the cell given below, E cell is given. You have to identify the anode N. So E cell equals E cathode minus E anode. And the value of E cell 1.75 substituted there and get the value or uh, reduction potential for the cathode from the table 
that's 1.50 and the value of E anode comes as negative 0.25 volts. Now look into the reduction potential table. You find that the reaction that has negative 0.25 volts is nickel. Hence the anode is nickel.